So, uh, Madam Ambassador, you have uh, been meeting today with some of the most senior members of your government, uh, presumably by video, uh, and I want to ask you uh, what your latest information is about what's happening on the ground in Ukraine, the level of casualties, uh, the, the uh, consequences for both the attackers, the Russians, and the defenders, the Ukrainians. What, what are your folks uh, reporting from the ground? Uh, well, the Russian attack continues. It continues in the north, the east, and the south of Ukraine. Uh, our information is that there is Ukrainian resistance, quite strong Ukrainian resistance, and the Russian attack may not be moving as quickly as the Russians had hoped. Uh, much of this is still being assessed at the moment, uh, very hard to get accurate numbers. Uh, casualties we're not sure of. We know that some people are trying to flee the cities and towns and go west. Uh, unsurprisingly, uh, we know there's a lot of fear uh, in Ukraine, but we've also been very struck by the resolve of the Ukrainian people. And Ukrainian forces claim to have shot down uh, some of the Soviet aircraft that have been conducting airstrikes. Uh, so that shows that the Ukrainian people uh, are ready to resist. Uh, we understand that in Russia, this is not a universally uh, popular move by President Putin. Uh, we um, watch very carefully what is happening. My prime minister today uh, issued um, a further statement with more sanctions. And of course, you just had the clip of the president doing likewise.